All right, Dave here with another exciting tutorial and today I'm going to talk about the workflow from sculpting all the way to texture and materials and the equivalent from the desktop versions to the iPad equivalent. Okay, so I feel like um, really cool. You can see here we've got sculpting in ZBrush, then retopologizing, UV mapping and baking in Maya, and then doing the materials in Substance Painter. So that would be the normal desktop workflow. But if you wanted to do everything on the go, um, you can actually do that. So I feel like what's cool is the sculpting, the ZBrush equivalent, is going to be something called Nomad Sculpt. Okay, so really cool app that you can download on the iPad. And I'll get into pricing at the end here, but I feel like just kind of like looking at kind of the equivalent. Okay, so this is going to allow you to sculpt directly um, very similar to ZBrush, kind of like sculpting with clay. Then once you're done with your sculpt, you could export it. Um, and in here you would export to Maya to retopologize, UV map and, and bake. But if you wanted to do that on the iPad, you could send it to a program called Cozy Blanket. Okay, Cozy Blanket 2.0 allows you to retopologize very quickly, UV map and bake. Um, and I'll kind of show what that looks like in a second. And then from here to add the materials, normally you'd go into Substance Painter, but again, if you wanted to stay on the iPad, you could send it over to Procreate. Procreate now allows you to import 3D models and not only add color, but you can do roughness maps and metalness maps as well. So let's take a look at kind of what this looks like here. So you can see here, Nomad Sculpt, um, sculpting and painting on the mobile application on the iPad and um, kind of see some pictures of the um, interface here. If we look at the price of Nomad Sculpt, okay, Nomad Sculpt is only $15. You can see it's ranked uh, number two in graphic design right now. So I feel like it's a really good um, app that's gaining a lot of traction and I feel like the interface is very straightforward. So again, might want to give that a try if you want to be able to sculpt on the go. Now, um, the next one here in the pipeline is Cozy Blanket. And you can see here with just with the Apple Pencil, um, creating the retopology makes actually retopology kind of fun and quick. You can see quick gestures um, and really kind of creating clean models. Um, but not only that, it allows you to UV map and even bake. So I feel like the stuff that you might think is a little bit too technical generally for an app, I feel like this one kind of um, handles all of that. Now, the interesting thing about Cozy Blanket is it is a free app, okay? However, so that means that you can try it, you could even import your own models into it. However, I feel like if you wanna export it and actually use it, um, it's going to cost um, $89, and you can see over here, uh, I think if I had this wider, it would show it. Yeah, here it is. So $89, which is, to me, it seems kind of steep. Um, but again, you could try it out, see if it's worth it. If you're going to be, again, mobile and you need the entire workflow, um, Cozy Blanket could be a kind of an integrate part of that process. Then lastly, to kind of finish your model, you could bring it into Procreate, okay? I think a lot of times people think of Procreate as just a drawing application, but I feel like the fact that it supports uh, full 3D models, and also um, what's interesting about that is you can paint um, metalness maps and roughness maps in here. So I feel like even if you could paint directly in ZBrush, which you can, it doesn't allow for metalness maps and roughness maps. So I think that Procreate's really got um, kind of a handle on what they're doing there. Uh, obviously not, I don't think it's as good as something like Substance Painter, but up for a mobile application, I think it is really good. It also allows you to paint directly on the UVs. Um, so really kind of cool. If we look here, currently um, Procreate looks like it's $12.99 um, in the App Store. So again, $15.00. Um, cozy blanket 89 if you want to be able to actually use it and then um, 13 for procreate here so 
again, cool workflow. Um, now, and again, that's mobile workflow. If we look at um, the desktop version, okay, so a ZBrush, um, if we look at the pricing here, ZBrush is $29 a month. And, well, that's if you do it annually, but I feel like it comes out to $40 a month if you do it just kind of month to month. If we look at Maya, Maya is um, $18.75 annually or $235 monthly, which seems pretty steep, but they do have something kind of hidden, which is called the Maya Indie license, and I have a video on that. You can see here it's $305 for the entire year. Okay, comparing that to about $300 a month is a significant savings. Um, it's exactly the same as the other one, but I feel like it's made for indie users. Anyone making less than $100,000 a year in Maya related activity. So I feel like you would have to qualify for that. Um, but again, a lot more reasonable here. And then if we look at um, Procreate, uh, yeah, I'm, I mean, sorry, Substance Painter. Um, Substance Painter is, um, if we look at this, $20 a month, okay, for individuals. Um, you know, they try to bump you up to the whole collection here. I don't think that's necessarily necessary. That's $49 a month, but I feel like this one should get you definitely enough, uh, 20 bucks a month. Um, it is good to note that um, as far as student versions are concerned, I can see that um, a lot of the websites have school and universities. So I feel like I think um, ZBrush is allowing um, for school and university. It's, uh, I believe you can, if you really dig in here, yeah, $9 a month, okay, or $10 a month seems pretty reasonable for ZBrush. Um, Maya has a free educational version, and I believe so does Substance. Um, it seems like they're always kind of changing it around, but I feel like it's uh, generally you should be able to get it free for students. Um, but again, these are the desktop versions, so a, you're going to be sitting at a normal computer um, working, and I feel like those are going to be obviously the most powerful, the most um, professional way to do, you know, how to do work. But again, if you want a mobile equivalent, um, I think that it's worth checking out these apps. So again, Nomad Sculpt, equivalent to ZBrush. Cozy Blanket. Cozy Blanket, I should point out, is not equivalent to Maya. It's only doing these things. But I feel like in this workflow, that's what we would use Maya for. And then um, Procreate. Um, we're going to be using that, what we would use Substance Painter for. I should also mention that if you wanted a free version of the desktop, uh, you could use Blender. And Blender, you could do sculpting, you could retopologize, UV map and bake, and you could also paint in Blender as well. And what's interesting about Blender, it's completely free software, okay? But again, I think that if you're gonna be using Blender or any of these, you're gonna be on a regular computer. And if you, again, if you want the mobile comparison, check out these apps. All right, hope you found this helpful. I'll see you next time.